Hey, what is up guys? My name is Eric and welcome to a real quick Windows tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing guys how to install ICC profiles to better color manage or color calibrate your monitors. I will have a link down below for a website where you can download various ICC profiles so you don't need to mess around with them yourself. All you have to do to install ICC profiles in Windows 10 is to go to your desktop, right click, go down to display settings, open it up. Then scroll down a little bit uh, until you see advanced display settings. Press on that. Press on display adapter properties. And from this following box here, go to color management. Color management once again. And from here, you probably won't have any ICC profiles in the list here. So you will need to add them. So to add an ICC profile, simply press add. Browse and find the ICC profile you've got installed. Add once again. Select it. And set as default profile. Now, if you want to add uh, different ICC profiles for different monitors, for example, I have two monitors with two different ICC profile uh, profiles. Simply select between display one and display two, and as you can see, this is my ultra wide one, and I've got an ICC profile set for that. And the um, the procedure to install an ICC profile for the secondary monitor is exactly the same. I'll go back to the display one for now to continue on with the tutorial. From here, you need to press on advanced, change system defaults, advanced, and uh, make sure that the use Windows display calibration checkbox is enabled. And that should be it. If you close down all the open boxes and press apply and OK, you should now see that your ICC profile is enabled. Obviously, every single monitor is going to be different and every single profile is going to be different. So you might need to do some uh, in-monitor tweaking. For example, with my current main monitor, I had to do some adjustments myself. But those are all described in the ICC profile page, hopefully, depending on where you get them from. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys learned something new. If you did, please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or suggestions for the future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.